Welcome to another quick tutorial. Um, this time we're going to talk about how to get um, good glow inside of Unity, um, which if you worked with uh, 3D modeling software, usually it uh, you know, revolves around using object glow or global illumination, but a little bit different now that we're inside of Unity. So I wanted to show you a good way to accomplish that. Um, so I have a basic scene here with a main camera and a directional light, and I'm just going to add in a cube which will be what we use to create a good glow on side on top of um, so a couple tools you're gonna need um, I've already installed but you're gonna need to go to the asset store um, and you're gonna want to find the MK glow light um, uh, asset which used to be free but unfortunately now it is $9.99 um, I highly recommend you get it though. There's nothing more simple than this tool to give you these great looking object glows inside of your game. Um, and it works in augmented and virtual reality as well. So it's just simply something that's probably going to be indispensable in your toolkit. Um, so once you have that, what you'll do is you'll install it and now you'll be able to add a MK glow light script to your main camera um, and you don't need to worry about too much of this right now other than the fact that you just need to make sure that um, the uh, workflow is uh, selective and we'll we'll come back to that in a second um, the other thing that you're going to need to add to this uh, component is going to be the um, post processing layer um, which you need to make sure that the camera is the main camera. Now, one, one thing we need to create is if we go to our um, player settings, in here under tags and layers, is we need to create another layer to, um, to create that glow, which you can see here under user layer 8. All I did was I come in here and I just typed glow. Okay, so that's going to add another layer that I can select from in my main camera and on objects that I want to have that glow. Um, so we're going to leave that as is. And then down here inside of the post process layer, I'm just going to make sure that I have glow selected. And now, what about our cube? Well, what we're going to want to do is I've created a um, new a new um, material here and it's the MK glow selective and then under legacy transparent and diffuse um, I've created this shader that I can apply to my cube here and you'll notice that right away it's going up and it's glowing and they may, that may not be the case for you. Um, you might need to come in here and check the layer as glow. But already you can see uh, right away I've got this great looking glow that I can now adjust here inside of the um, inside of my uh, shader. And then we can obviously take it one step further and go into our animator and create a quick animation that we want to use. So now we have this flashing light that inside of our game view, this could be, you know, headlights on an ambulance or, um, you know, this could be a solar flare of some sort, but now you've got a pretty great way of creating good quick object glow inside of your unity uh, game or whatever you're trying to create so i hope this was really helpful and uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe